If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. In part A, in order to calculate the electric force on the proton, we have to use the following equation. So we know that the electric force is equal to the quantity of charge multiplied by the electric field that the charge is located in. Now this is a proton, so the quantity of charge on it will be the standard value of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. The electric field was given to us directly, so we can just plug in. We can see that the unit of coulombs will cancel, leaving us with an overall force of 6.16 times 10 to the minus 17 Newton. So that'll be the electric force acting on the proton as it moves through the electric field. For part B, we know that the acceleration of an object is equal to the net force acting on it divided by the mass of the object. We assume that the only force that's causing acceleration on the proton is the electric force that we just calculated. The mass of a proton is a known value. And it is equal to this value right here. And when we compute this, we get a value of approximately 3.69 times 10 to the 10th, and the unit is meters per second squared because it's acceleration. So that's the correct answer to part B. And then for part C, to calculate the distance that it travels, we can refer back to an old kinematics formula. Now, the proton was released from rest, so of course that means the initial speed of the proton was zero. That's going to knock out this term right here. So this equation really just simplifies to one half multiplied by the acceleration multiplied by the time squared. So we can just plug in the known values. Notice that the time was given in microseconds, so we'll have to convert that to seconds by multiplying by 10 to the minus 6. And we get approximately 7.38 times 10 to the minus 2, and the unit would be meters since we're calculating a distance. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.